एवरीवन वेलकम टू शून्य वन एपिसोड 190. वी आर जस्ट 10 एपिसोड्स अवे फ्रॉम 200. इट्स एन इनक्रेडिबल माइलस्टोन. आई कैन बिलीव यू नो वी बिन डूइंग दिस फॉर सो मेनी इयर्स. वी हैव स्पोकन टू सो मेनी ग्रेट फाउंडर्स एंड ऑपरेटर्स एंड पीपल इन द स्टार्टअप इकोसिस्टम. रियली प्रिविलेज टू गेट टू स्पीक टू दीस फोक्स एंड इवन टुडेज एपिसोड इज येट अनदर a very very interesting product and startup uh, the founder uh, sonakshi nathani she is the founder and ceo of bic now i say bic but uh, you might all have read about them as bikai when we get into the episode you'll realize that uh, they're actually a startup like many others going through a massive evolution uh, in just their 3 year journey so i had a really interesting chat with sonakshi about their origins and the opportunity and what exactly bikai started with and now what big their platform is doing so let's take a quick break and jump into the conversation hi sonakshi welcome to shunya one how are you doing i'm doing well thank you so much aditya for asking this and really really you know thankful for you guys inviting us no no uh, it's so great to have you uh, talk to us today and i know this it's been an exciting week already uh, for you because there's been while you know you've been uh, doing bikai for some time i think there's some changes which has happened just last week so why don't you tell us a little bit more about of course the whole story but start with what prompted uh, the big change uh, which is to your name yeah so just for everyone's context we rebranded bikai to bic last week and bikai when we started bikai back in 2019 the vision was very clear as founders which was to make businesses successful and you know throughout the journey of last 3 years that has been the number one thought that we had while doing anything and everything that we were you know taking up at bikai and that was when we started off it was helping merchants to create their own website helping them to go online because we thought that that's the essential part to make anyone successful covid happened it became the you know number one thing that people preferred uh, if they thought about making their business success i would say uh, continued our journey and somewhere in between we sat on a table took a pause understood that are we fulfilling the vision of making them successful and that's when you know we realized that giving just a website builder is not enough and we launched our digital marketing services you know that enabled millions of merchants to get even you know greater number of customers consumers for their businesses and we launched this last year in november and you know within months it exploded we onboarded 1000 plus merchants using our digital marketing services along with our website builder and that's when you know again this year in march we sat down took a pause and you know uh, brainstorm that is this scalable because digital marketing service is something that's being done manually running facebook ads google ads so you know we uh, had lot of brainstorming that what could be done to productize it so that we can give it to lot more businesses and that's when we realized that the only way to do it is to productize marketing and what marketing is just solving two problem statements one is helping brands to understand whom they should target and then second thing is what like what communication message that should be sent out or to should be shown to such uh, segmented uh, consumers so that's where we thought okay these are easy problems to solve no big deal we'll create a product and since we were expanding our horizons not just to smbs but also to now mid market enterprise and also expanding our product line not just being a website enabler to being an e-commerce you know marketing solution a marketing platform so we thought of rebranding it not just to bikai which means to sell we wanted to make it a global name which is big so that's why we rebranded wow wow very cool how do you spell that now so it's b i k so what we did was b i k a y i we removed a y i and just you know stayed with b i k <laughs> Yeah, wow. All right. It's it's well, it's been known to uh, be a trend in all sorts of uh, startup names, I guess. Uh with uh, <laughs> whether it's the Facebook to Facebook to now Meta, so why not? So very cool. Uh or you know, on that note, why don't you know for you know, take us a little step back. Uh you know, you guys obviously you like you said you had a original vision, you productized that. Now your vision's evolved, uh which is great. 
but what what was the original thought itself? You know, what's, what made you see the opportunity in the market back in 2019 also? Uh, and of course, how you came together, a little bit of your own personal story as to how you entered this space. Yeah, so uh, I was working for Microsoft and even, you know, to go back a little more uh, than my job days, uh, I and my co-founder Ashutosh, we both were batchmates in Triple IT Hyderabad. So we were doing our undergrad in computer science together and we graduated in 2015. For me, you know, I originally come from family which runs a small business back in Raipur, Chhattisgarh and you know always there was a mindset of doing and running our own business there was never a mindset of taking up a job or you know even you know sitting for civil services examination etc the mindset was super clear to own a business and you know worst case was to join my family business so but you know things happened um during my academic days, I chose uh, mathematics as my subject and that because since, you know, it sounded easy to me. So we got into like, I got an opportunity to get into a uh, really esteemed university like Triple IT. That's where I met Ashu. And during our university days, mindset was clear, but seeing so many really great people, so many really great coders in the university, I also ended up sitting for a placement and got into Microsoft. And, you know, over there, <laughs> over there, you know, working there for three years, learned a lot of things, how a big company is managed, how you run such a big enterprise product all together, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, then the last year, I think that that was the third year in Microsoft, that was year 2018, was when, you know, I discussed with Ashu and he was during that time in Canada, he was working for startups like Zenefits and Square. We had a discussion. I told him that, you know, this is a great time to start something of our own. He moved back to India. We both quit our jobs and started Pekai. So that's how journey started. And, you know, inspiration, while we were quitting our job, there was nothing to inspire, inspire us in terms of what we wanted to start. It was just, you know, happened in the moment, I would say. And um, I was back in my hometown during those days, during New Year's of 2019 and uh, my family, as I told you, runs a business. Uh, they had started accepting orders on WhatsApp. And that made me think, you know, such a great thing that they were trying to do because I never saw them using any kind of tech, any kind of, you know, advanced uh, capabilities that world has to offer to enable their business. And when I saw them doing it, I just started looking out for solutions existing in the market. We found Shopify, we found Indian versions of Shopify, like Card Rocket, Insta Mojo, etc. But, you know, honestly speaking, none were suitable uh, because, you know, we were very clear in terms of what could be used, which was number one, my family cannot use anything beyond mobile phones. They don't know how to operate desktop. Second thing that we were very clear, internet for them is all about YouTube and WhatsApp. They don't know anything beyond that. So anything that could have enabled them should be as easy as WhatsApp and should be on phone. So we, you know, researched a lot. In fact, spent around a week or so, we couldn't find anything. And that's when we thought, like, why, why can't we build one? And within 14 days, Bikai was launched on Play Store and yeah, rest is history. Wow. Wow. So tell us, tell us about the product itself, right? I mean, it's a, it's a great insight that you had, obviously, and, you know, entire market in India, probably 2017 onwards has sort of driven in the mobile direction. Uh, and now there are so many layers to WhatsApp itself. There's so much you can do on WhatsApp. They've obviously opened up WhatsApp as a platform itself has opened up to like working with businesses. What's the product like and what was it initially uh, in the day, those days? Was it like a layer on top of it? Was it how did it actually work? If you can go into some details. Yeah, so when we started off, uh, it was a simple Android app where as a business owner, you can upload product pictures that you were selling and immediately, instantly you get an online store link with your product listed that you can share on WhatsApp. We were giving a lot of capabilities like sharing your online store as a video, as set of images, as set of PDF or as an online store to your customers and that helped businesses like one problem statement that we solved was showcasing of your product so that was solved then we launched it you know there's also a very interesting story of how people adopted it but you know when we launched it, it was just a showcasing app 
then we soon got a feedback that order management also becomes a problem when the scale grows so we also started creating backend which was which was helping these kind of merchants to manage their orders and then you know like the insights kept coming that people want their customized website they don't want to be on that commonbikai.com domain so we did that then you know they because since you know smbs were evolving as bikai product was evolving they kept giving us lot of insights like for example advanced features like they wanted to showcase on a different way a grocery store wanted to showcase in a different way versus a fashion store wanted to showcase so you know giving them lot of then giving them an inventory management as a solution so we kept you know evolving our solution basis the insights that we were getting and soon you know we started adding marketing capabilities for example uh, somebody came to your website they They wanted to place an order, but for some reason they didn't, and they left items in the cart. So we started giving them notifications on WhatsApp that there was someone, you know, who wanted to order. Here is the phone number. Contact them. So initially we were just, you know, a sharing layer on top of WhatsApp. Everything was done on Bikai, but you can casually and you know very easily share everything your to your customers. That was the idea. But now since the launch of Bik. we have you know created layers on top of whatsapp for example uh, if you want to market your product uh, let's say you are launching a diwali offer so you can do a broadcast to even a lakh consumers of yours through whatsapp so that is one use case that we have added you can run a crm on whatsapp using bik so that's another use case you can have a chatbot on whatsapp using bik and also not the least but last which is you know you can run advertisement on google facebook which directly lets your consumer to chat interact with you on whatsapp so we have become very deep on whatsapp now nice and i mean i'm sure when you saw this earlier right uh, you must have looked at the market like you said there was always these online platforms the shopify style versions of india and now, again now there are more of those as well do you see adoption still happening on your platforms because of this whatsapp embedded sort of situation i mean whatsapp is only becoming more and more ubiquitous so is that like your uh, in moat if i may if i may say so compared to let's say everyone else who's more generic absolutely so whatsapp has been i'll in fact share you a very interesting story when we launched bikai um, uh, we didn't have money we were bootstrapping those days and the only way to promote it was to put it on facebook groups that had a lakh 3 lakh seller base on the platform and you know we started posting that do you want to create your online store here is the app link so you know we used to get you know zero likes zero comments on those kind of posts and then one of my cousin suggested me that you know didi uh, you started this because you saw someone like you saw your family doing things on whatsapp and that's what you wanted to grow so why don't you put that so you know i literally changed our tagline i we changed it to do you want to increase your sales on whatsapp comment yes and then you know 400 500 likes in that organic post people commenting yes 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 and then i used to reply back saying them okay then if you i have dm'd you these steps how you could do it and then i i literally used to call every person who used to comment and tell them that okay this is the app you can use here you can manage everything on the go so that you can keep focusing on your business so that's how you know whatsapp is so so important integral part of uh, indian e-commerce i would say Yeah, I mean, I mean, this obviously goes to show how people were already innovating before platforms like yours existed, uh, and after that, of course, you're you know they're super powered with that. You know, on that note, I'm going to take a break before we go deeper a little into the big story and what you have in store for us later. So, quick break, and we'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, uh, Sonakshi. Uh, you've been telling us about obviously the story about how you know Bikai and now Bik is uh, intertwined with the evolution of WhatsApp for commerce, WhatsApp and the e-commerce story of India, of course. Tell us when you saw you know as a evolving startup, like you said, you keep looking back, get you know all hands on the table and say, okay, what next? What's the next stage? You said you focused on this on the marketing piece, right? Which is basically getting sellers. more sales or more customers now what is that has been sort of like the mainstay of the big the ad networks which where you can run ads for facebook google of course 
So what is the layer exactly that you're creating? Is it's the, it's the customer segmentation? Is it the data layer? Can you tell us about the components of that stack? Definitely. Yeah. So, you know, uh, while doing this for last three years, the uh, most common insights, or I would say the most powerful insights that we understood was there are, you know, the biggest problem statement today in any brand that's running online is the acquisition cost. You know, even acquisition is not the problem. Anyone can run advertisements. They can get, you know, flock of customers, but getting them at a right price, a price that then the amount contributes to your business should be the math that brand should try, you know, focusing on from initial days. And, you know, running this for thousands of businesses, we understood this is the major problem statement. And it's not easy to solve because not everyone comes from a tech background. Not everyone has expertise of uh, marketing digitally. So, you know, we thought of picking that and then solve it. So we didn't want to solve a problem statement where we are bringing traffic. We know Getting traffic is easy. You can run Facebook, Google ads, but getting those traffic to convert, to drive a purchase or even registering them as a contact is something which is very, very challenging. So we wanted to pick that up uh, in PIC. And if you see how we are trying to solve that problem is we have, you know, with a vision again, which is, you know, any interaction that you have with your consumer as a brand, whether it be resolving their customer support ticket or sending them a status update on the shipment or order or any interaction even about inquiring a new kind of product, it's a marketing message that you're giving. You're representing your brand outside. So why not leverage every communication that happens through a brand as a marketing message. So that was the vision uh, of creating BIC. And what we did was we created four layers. The first layer that we launched on June 20th this uh, year was a platform where you can easily segment. So as a store owner, not just Bikai store owner, but a Shopify store owner, WooCommerce store owner, any platform agnostic, you can integrate your data to BIC which is a customer data platform where, you know, we have a very superior uh, quality of segmentation that we give on your data and you can use it. And then we also give you certain recommendation on the templates. So for example, you segmented consumer that, okay, these are thousand customers who were regular buyers until June, but now they are not purchasing anything. So, you know, let's just pick them up. Then we show them certain templates that you can choose from to communicate a certain message, which has image, text, etc. And then we also give them channels like WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook, where they can broadcast this communication. Yeah, so this is the layer that we first launched on June 20th, which we call it as big campaigns. Here we help them with data cohorting segmentation and also empower them with channel where they can broadcast. And this is, you know, completely related to ROI. So we transparently show them this is the amount you spent on broadcasting and this is the result that you have got. And so far, you know, being very honest, we haven't seen less than 10x returns that being driven by the broadcasting happening through big so that's one second thing as i told you that um, we believe every interaction is actually a marketing message uh, so we also thought of building a big crm so for e-commerce brands you don't have to go and you know integrate or adopt those expensive crms you will get your ready-made crm inside big because we know how you generate your customer engagement is via broadcasting or either, you know, they are coming back asking order updates, shipping updates, etc. So the CRM that we have built inside BIC has, you know, all the channels, like if you are getting message on WhatsApp, you are getting emails uh, or you are getting message on Instagram, everything will come to BIC. You can, you know, reply directly from there and you get a dashboard, which is very, very clear that you can on one click cancel your order or, you know, request for a refund, etc. So anything, everything related to e-commerce can be done there. That's the second thing. Third thing is big chatbots, which is, again, you know, very important. If you're broadcasting a message, you are definitely bound to get replies. And you cannot sit there replying 10, 10 or thousands of customers. So for that reason, we built an intelligent bot that can help you out. And fourth is big growth which is essentially increasing your customer base on your platform. So the big growth job is 
to convert traffic to at least subscribers or the contact list. So, for example, uh, when you open any website, you saw a widget, spin the wheel widget, and which is personalized depending on who's visiting that website. So, let's say, for example, I visit a website, so they will show me a woman-related spin the wheel, showing like, okay, 10%. If you spin it, you can get 10% off, 20% off. Versus if you visit a website, it will show based on what men usually like. So this is, you know, four pods that we have created in Bex. Nice. And this is, you know, I have a few questions now because obviously the product scope is so much more and and it is much more detailed, right? It's it's I would say it is for a little more mature customer than even the ones you started with, right? The people you said, your own parents, uh, your own family who you were inspired from, who do everything on mobile to now this. Uh, so does this mark one change in the shift of focus of the kind of SMBs you want to address? Are you moving like up market or, or uh, because I'm guessing all of this is not on the phone, right? It's not running on, on like, they're not setting up campaigns on the phone or maybe they are. I, I would love to know this shift in focus and how this actually manifests. Yeah, absolutely. You have got it very, very right. It is, you know, for little bit mature brands and why, you know, it's, it's super easy to understand to have certain data which can yield results. You need existing customer base and that customer base, you know, we have seen from our data, like it has been two and a half months of launch now, and we have seen merchants or brands, you would say, uh, having at least 10,000 to 20,000 customer base are doing well using this product. So anyone who's starting out today won't find much value using BIC. But, you know, towards the journey where they already have 10 to 20,000 customers is when they'll start seeing the value because they must have spent a lot on acquisition costs. They would be wondering, like, what should I do when I'm not driving enough value? And also at the same time, they would be hustling around how to manage their customer relations. So definitely, yes. And this opens up for, you know, for BIC, uh, as we call it today, opens up really great opportunity in terms of tapping mid-market and enterprise clients as well and that too globally because there is no product today uh, which you know does end-to-end -end solution for customer conversion problems so this is how we see it right and and you also mentioned that it's now agnostic to the platform it's agnostic to the channels which means you have actually moved out and above let's say just being tied to the whatsapp ecosystem a little bit as well right is that was that also a conscious choice like what do you think uh, this is where the opportunity is larger yes so if you see the shopify ecosystem it's very deep the brands not just in india but even if you see out enterprise level brands they tend to choose shopify because it has such a great uh, you know app ecosystem you can find anything everything over there so you know with a product like a website builder that we had which is very suitable for smbs but it cannot you know be adopted in the mid market and enterprise level uh, uh, customer base i would say because shopify is doing extremely well there and that's when we thought like if you're creating a product which is you know solving marketing needs or a conversion needs for a brand why just restrict it to Bikai users? We should extract it out. And you know, the brands which are currently using Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, they should also be able to use it because we understood like market does not have this product and let, you know, bigger brands also use it, which are on other platforms. So what what is now, uh, what do you have in store for, let's say the, you know, current SMBs who are still sort of running on WhatsApp, their entire world is still on their phone. Are you going to, uh, continue to address that side of the market or is this like a little bit shift in, you know, going in the right where, where the revenue is, I would say. Yeah, so, you know, the uh, thought process right now is uh, since Bikai was profitable before raising VC money uh, and, you know, we, yeah, so because I come from a family background where, you know, business success means profitability. So that was the whole idea of real businesses. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, we believe in the power of Bikai. We believe in the power of the software, the platform that we have created for SMBs. And that's where we want to take Bikai to. We want to make that business unit profitable in itself. And that's possible uh, because, you know, now we have moved most of our R&D spends towards Bic. 
So you know, Bikai is just because we have built a lot of, we have done a lot of product development already for SMB merchants, and we feel it's enough for next one year or so. So we want to just focus on the organic adoption of the product that's happening, and also the expansion revenues, the renewal revenues that we get, and that's looking very healthy today. So Bikai as a uh, unit, we want to become profitable in next one month or so. That's doable, and for Bik, we'll you know continuously invest in the R and D. Uh, continuously invest in the sales and marketing aspect of it because we want to grow it globally. We want to, you know, make Bic as a world class product, which is not going to come in cheap or a reasonable price. It's going to, you know, charge what it deserves, but it's not a cheap copy of some existing international uh, product. It's it's an individual. It's a innovation in itself, and it would, uh, like we believe, like Indian SaaS needs it internationally like it it needs that um recognition because people do misinterpret indian saas products as a cheaper version of something existing internationally but it's not true for big correct no i think the indian saas market has matured a lot of course uh, you know we've seen uh, not just the super big uh, public stories but also you know down uh, in every sector and definitely e-commerce uh, addressing saas uh, e-commerce uh, enabling sort of saas products like yours uh, are huge right so what is what is now i mean you already shared some of it uh, obviously like you said going global taking the big product out to the market uh, you know in closing notes what is like your typical like 18 month vision on where you think you'll be uh, and of course you know it, if uh, for everyone listening to this show of course if you could share you know if they're interested to know more what's the best place to reach you and anything else about the company of course yeah so in terms of 18 months definitely we have vision in terms of the revenue revenue that we want to achieve but you know in terms of uh, the market adoption uh, we feel big should be the only platform or application that an e-commerce a uh, brand would need to run their marketing needs like you know they can use shopify or any other platform they want to for their website needs but for marketing needs this should be a one stop solution that helps you you know taking data driven insights to drive anything whether it be broadcasting crm chatbots or even you know the growth acquisition widgets that we are building so this is what you know we have in mind and we definitely believe with the a uh, market that's out there not just in india but also if you see uh, geographical regions like uk or us definitely is super big in e-commerce but if you see uk or even anz or canada they are really really huge and you know uh, software like this would do wonderfully well over there so that's our vision for next uh, 18 months and in uh, terms of some uh, you know uh, anyone wants to reach out to me or need any help uh, from me or want is interested in learning more about big you can always reach out to me on linkedin i am with the name sunakshi nathani or you can also email me on sunakshi@big.ai nice amazing thank you so much sunakshi and thank you everyone listening in of course uh, so if you love this conversation please leave us a rating and review as well wherever you're listening to this podcast whichever is your favorite podcast app that definitely helps keep listening to shunya one and sunakshi thank you so much for this very very uh, you know enlightening conversation of course and looking forward to seeing big everywhere uh, i will probably not know it when i'm uh, you know interacting with another site or website but yes you know all power to you and the indian saas ecosystem which i think is it totally deserves all the cool stuff that everyone is building so thank you so much for sharing your story here today and uh, yeah look forward to everything that's in yeah. store thank you so much aditya and all love to shunya one i had an amazing time and really loved your question aditya thank you so much for giving us such a great opportunity No thank you thank you it was great it was my pleasure talking to you